Can you make friends with an elephant? Here in Zambia, the wild animals live amongst the people. Elephants! And we want to meet some elephants. Whoa. So we're taking a jet boat in crocodile infested waters oh. and going to make some friends. We're getting up close to one of those. Welcome to the Elephant Cafe. Okay, we're really doing this. Paging River Wilder and Archer, Jet Boat, Elephant Meet and Greet, Wake Up Call. Okay, so maybe mornings aren't our thing. Time to go jet boating, meet elephants. Are you ready? Yes. Whoa, Wilder's the first out of bed. We're ready, right, Archer? <laughs> oh, Archer. You ready? No, I still have to brush my teeth. <laughs> okay, we're ready. Let's do this. Oh, I just sat on my breakfast. Um, yeah, we are going to waterfront. So we're here to meet elephants, and we hadn't even finished our breakfast when uh -huh. we spotted some elephants. elephants. Nice, good eye. There are elephants in someone's yard. Elephants in your yard may sound like fun, but... Oh, they're eating somebody's garden. Yes. Oh, no. Can you imagine elephants in your backyard? The most exciting thing we've ever had in our backyard was like... The time we rescued that raccoon. We woke to an injured raccoon. Oh, it's biting itself. So we had to catch it. Come on, Dad. Dad. No. Come in. No, 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 he's out. One raccoon. And take it to an animal sanctuary. Hello. That's sort of what happens here. If animals get in trouble, they can end up at a sanctuary. Spoiler alert, that's where we're headed. But first, we need to check in to the waterfront. Yep. As we're walking towards our room, we notice these signs. They have hippos and crocodile turtles. Apparently, there's hippos out at night. Ooh, a crocodile. And crocodiles everywhere. They can't climb stairs, right? Whoa, check this place out. No, Sit on my bed and look out the window. I want this one. Something the waterfront is famous for is serving crocodile in their restaurant. These are crocodile stores. I'm going to take a bite of crocodile. It's like flavorful chicken. I like it. Tastes like a mix between chicken and fish. Tastes like chicken and a bit of awesome. steak flavoring. Oh, and they're also famous for slushy on the Zambezi. And customers with green tongues. Now it's time to head up the Zambezi River and meet some elephants. It's jet boat time. We are gonna look so cool. Uh, or not. Snazzer. This thing has 600 horsepower and will literally fly us up the river. Whoa, this is awesome. Oh my goodness, team. And just like that, we are on our way. It's about 10 miles to go where we're going. National park on both sides of the river, so the whole idea is that we spot some animals along the way. I just want you to hold on to those handrails in front, nice and tight. Okay, hold on, here we go. It's hard to explain just how fast we are going. Now I know why they call it a jet boat! So Dan is rocketing us up the Zambezi, and when we see something, we point it out. And he stops. And then a couple of small crocodiles over here. That's a baby one, and the big ones can get up to 21 feet long. You had to have your head on a swivel. Giant crocodile. Because the animals were everywhere. It's like the rocks have come alive. And these monsters can flip your boat. the one over there and that one answered. Bye hippos. We are here to meet elephants, 
But are these like wild elephants? <laughs> and then right there, we see an entire herd of wild elephants. They've gathered by the water's edge to take a drink. Further down, we see a huge one all by itself. Now that's a bull elephant, so it's probably too big to stay with the family herd now. Do you see what he's doing with his feet? He's making some sunscreen. That is a wild African elephant. But I don't think we can make friends with one of those. Because one moment he's calm, and the next he steps out towards the boat in a mock charge. <laughs> he's got his ears out, showing us he means business. Yeah, he just let us know we're a little close. Wild elephants are not the cuddly creatures you see on TV. After showing us who's boss, he starts to swim across the channel. Elephants are excellent swimmers. They can dive underwater and use their trunks as snorkels. He comes up for air and gives us one last side eye before heading on. We've got elephants to meet. Let's go. Dan drops the hammer and we are on the move. But we notice a change in the scenery. I hope Dan knows what he's doing. We are in the rapids! This is why you need a jet boat. Without it, we wouldn't be getting up the Zambezi. Then we realize Dan's just having a little fun. I wonder if Dan enjoys his job a little too much. Wow, we are finally here at the Elephant Cafe. We thank Dan for the ride. I welcome you to Zambez Elephant Cafe. My name is Elia. This place is lush and green and looks like the perfect home for elephants. I see the elephants. There's elephants over there coming towards us. Elia told us the sad story of how these elephants had been rescued after becoming orphans. And each elephant has got a handler. We learned that the elephants were comfortable with humans because they had been raised with positive reinforcement. This is it. These are the elephants we can make friends with. First, we're meeting the smaller of the two elephants. Sakute is 13. He's sort of like a teenager. The trainer shows us how to feed him. <laughs> he takes the food from your hand. <laughs> That's how he stores it. Then sprays it into his mouth. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> It feels kind of a bit like rubbery, and it's very hairy. This is unreal. Oh, you want more? <laughs> Despite his size, Sakute is gentle and patient. More, more right in your nose hole. Okay, you want more. And now, we don't speak elephant but it felt like he was happy to meet us. <laughs> Into the nose hole. He certainly appreciated the treats. <laughs> yeah, I think we can count Sakute as our friend. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much more left. So that was Sakute. We're on our way to meet Madinda. He's a full-grown adult male quite a bit bigger than Sakute. Whoa, he is huge. And look at the size of those tusks. Hello. But with a gentle trunk, he took the food from river, and you could tell we were off to a good start. It's so cool. He, this note is so big, it can hold so much food. We couldn't get over how big Madinda was, and yet how gentle he was. 
Can you believe it? We've made two elephant friends. With his ears down and relaxed, you could tell Medinda was having as much fun as we were. In my salute, please. Wait, don't forget to subscribe. And for show merch, check out riverandwilder.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. There's a whole world waiting for you. So put down your iPad and go outside.